It's a lot of up. If you don't like heights, don't come here. Hey friends, welcome back to another incredible day in Alaska. We've seen and experienced some amazing things since arriving here. Holy crap! Today, we're headed into the coastal town of Valdez through the epic gateway of Thompson Pass, where we're tackling an unplanned adventure with an unexpected ending. Yeah, this is, uh, this is dangerous stuff right here. Whoa, you okay? All right, let's do this. When it says steep, they weren't kidding. Be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Kate and I were just talking a second ago. We've only been on trail for like five minutes. And we're like, how do all these people complain about the trip being so steep? Oh my God. And we're like, okay, seriously, yeah, it's let's okay. Yeah, be real. Like, we were maybe being a little snotty. We're doing research, we're <laughs> looking at stuff, and we're like, why is everybody complaining? Like, it's a trail. You go up it, you come back down it. I am so sorry. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Ego checked. This crap is legit uphill. This makes the upper Yosemite look like a cakewalk. Woo! All right. Let's do it. This is something else. It's a pretty, uh... in the first it's five minutes, we've probably lot. gotten, I don't know. 200 feet of elevation, 300 feet of elevation in five minutes. It's it's pretty legit. I figure at some point it's gonna level out, right? Maybe? I think it's all uphill, then all downhill. It's pretty Trail's not bad so far. Be fit. Be fit. <laughs> Tell us what's going on, baby. I guess probably when we're at Root Glacier, I messed my toe up and I don't want to be overly detailed, but it's not in a good way. My big toe on my right foot and have it all taped down so things don't get hung up, but it's, uh, it's not good on hills. <laughs> Can uh, feel it wiggle and stuff, but what are you gonna do? You're only in Alaska one time, right? You tape it and you go for a hike. And you don't complain. Because how would you complain with that view? I'm just saying. Not so terrible once you get out of the switchback. You're kind of on a ridge line for the rest of the way. The GoPro is going to pick it up, but just that little putt pulling away, and then I think, I think it takes back down. You guys are very confident, though. I'm one. Wowzer. I'm here. We have to go there. Good test. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, all right. I'm right behind you. Okay. This is. There's no trail left. That's it. That's the end of it. Oh. There's no more trail. The trail pretty much disappears and ends up into a thousand foot drop. So we're going to search a little bit more, but. If we can't find anything without going through all this thicket for the entire rest of the way up, we'll have to call it. Um, it might have had a landslide or something because it is right on the very edge of the glacier. So it could have just fallen in without any warning. So we don't we want to make sure that we're safe. But it is a beautiful blue glacier. Well, it looks like we're joining the club of the didn't finish the Worthington Glacier Trail. I was telling DJ earlier, I said, 
you know, I've seen all these videos, but it seems like nobody's like actually getting to the end of the trail. And either it's because they didn't come prepared or they're like, whoa, the trail's too steep and we're not gonna be those people. But when there's no trail, there's no way. <laughs> so it looks like somehow the trail washed out or collapsed. I don't know. What did you just see up there? I mean, it just looks like it's just falling off into the ravine and... Yeah, maybe like... not the safest, smartest choices. So I guess we're just gonna go find some waterfalls. So anyway, super steep height for really pretty views, but it's always a bummer when you don't finish, you know? It sucks. Yeah, that's okay. There's a will, there's a determined cape. Walking down, pointing out something like, hey, I wonder if that's the trail. She's like, go check it out. So I did, big mistake. It's actually the trail. And I'm out of breath. Oh my God. It was nice when we were going through the ice, Alpine meadow, but damn this uphill. It is all uphill and it's not switchbacked. It's not gentle slope, it's this. That hill is above my head and I'm standing at the bottom. So basically, it's a scramble. It's beautiful here though. New definition, stoop. Stupid. As in stupidly steep. <laughs> and we continue. And again, more uphill. If you really love the hike, and you really enjoy the steep hills, this hike is for you. So the trail goes down here, and then it cuts across, and it literally just falls off the cliff. That's why we had such a hard time finding it. So we gotta get up that. Yeah. That boulder right there is bigger than our truck. All right, so we made it to the top of the glacier. Um, we're not gonna hike down to it because the choss is pretty bad actually. Right, so everybody talks about like, oh, it's such a great hike and everything, and it's good, but you can only see the glacier. It's a viewpoint. It's not like a get up to the glacier kind of trail. It takes you up to that point and then that's it. So it's uphill for a cool view and then that's it. Yeah, so. Not super awesome. Um, it's beautiful to come see. It is a heck of a hike though. Yeah. I mean, it was only like, 1.25 miles to the top and it took us about an hour. Yeah, and if you're not into heights, it is legitimately not for you. The way down is actually probably the most dangerous part. <laughs> Slow going down, huh? Yeah, this is uh, this is dangerous stuff right here. Be careful. That's all I'm gonna say. Try not to bust your butt. It's all about the controlled slide. Way easier going up than it is down. Right up there, that's where we came from. You okay? Oh, and that, that's like a thousand foot drop right there. <laughs> Fun times. What's the matter, baby? Stop it. What's the matter? I hit my toe really hard. Not recommended with foot injuries. <laughs> this trail. <laughs> May have gotten the better of me, but because it hurts. The down the uphill's okay, right? Because your foot's back in your shoe. But the downhill, my toe boo boo keeps hitting the front of my shoe. And it's making it worse. Is that good? And karma's gonna get DJ for making fun of me for it. It hurts. We're about Worthington Glacier Trail. Be careful. Uh, I was coming down this steep trail right here and my toe just barely touched a rock. It came tumbling down and almost took Katie out at the knees. It was like you know, the size of a softball and going at like 20 mile an hour. So that could have really actually hurt. It would have been bad. Yeah. Pretty legit sized rock that came tumbling down at her. So. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for not killing me, babe. You know, I do what I can. You're welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. He says you're welcome. You're welcome. Whoa, you okay? You think? Hopped earlier. There's no trail mark either. That's the other thing. Yep. It's still steep on the way out too. Right up here, 
is the access trail that we took to the top. Yep. And this, friends, this is the moment where our tale of misadventure comes to a close. You know what makes toes feel better? It's lollipops. We arrived back to where we started, only to discover a second, much less terrifying trail. This trail is so much easier so right. far. It's like flat, well established. So you're basically hiking up the terminal moraine into the heart of the glacier. So there's lots of signs that say wear helmets, falling rocks, stuff like that. It's no different than what Castner or Volcano was, like safety wise. But yeah, and you get really, really beautiful views of the glacier and we're gonna kind of wander up and see how close we can get and what else we can see. This is the trail to take and it's gorgeous down here and half the work to get here. Super easy, great views, get to get right to the bottom of the glacier. Keep your distance, there's still stuff falling off the top and pieces chip breaking off. As you can see behind me, there's giant chunks of ice. So be safe, but definitely worth stopping and coming at least on the lower trail. That's all you've got time for. You can do it probably 10, 15 minutes. If you just want to see the glacier, don't need to do what we did. The crazy stoop hike. Stoop hike. I mean, stupid steep. Life is full of adventures and misadventures. But what matters most is the memories we make along the way. Thanks for letting us share this one with you. We hope you'll stick around for more.